In today's lunch break, we're making the perfect holiday dish with Bronzeville Winery, executive chef Lamar Moore, and co-executive chef Don D. Robinson. They're here to show us their filet mignon with a collard green chimichurri, black-eyed peed cassoulet. I mean, this is kind of elevating. A little bit. A little welcome, bit. gentlemen. Welcome back, Lamar. Welcome to you, Don D. You, I feel like you. when you have come in, Lamar, you've always talked about wanting to mentor other chefs. Absolutely. And here we've got that mentor, mentee, and now co-executive chefs. Yeah. That is spectacular. It is. You know, it's the whole reason why Bronzeville Winery started just a uh, touch under two years, and Don D has been at the winery since the beginning. You know, we talk about what that means, not only for the community, but for us. And, you know, it's great not only to be able to put out such good food and beverage, you know, in Chicago in general, but the South Side, I think, has been missing a lot of that. And that's where, you know, Cole and Cecilia Cuff and Eric Williams have really, really led the charge. And this is what we do culinarily together. Right. Yes, it's, it's been a ride, you know, looking at him as a big brother, especially in this industry. Not only showing me cooking techniques, but also the financials behind everything, which is something we really need in the entrepreneurship. R running a restaurant is challenging, you know? I mean, especially in kind of these post-pandemic times, and it, it's just, it yes. really, there are so many things. So, tell me about this dish that you guys are making today. Well, you know, Black Eyed Pizza is really, really important to uh, African Americans and also our communities. So I have it on the menu now, and as we go into the holidays, this is something we're talking about adding to the menu, especially we go into creating um, our Christmas menu and also for New Year's Eve, because it's a celebration that means good luck on New Year's Day. So what we made is a black happy cassoulet, so there's some beef fat in there. I'm actually going to add a little bit of mirepoix in there, that's celery, carrots, and onions, um, a little bit of stock, and then I think when I was here before, we talked about my use of butter. Yes. So I'm gonna let that reduce, and I'm gonna mouth with butter. And Don D's searing a steak. So we get our steak from Certified Angus Beef, uh, which is really, really good steak. Uh, this is a filet. He's going to add some butter to the pan. Wait, a little more butter? Yeah, a little bit more butter. <laughs> and then a collard green chimichurri. So we're taking an Argentinian-style uh, chimichurri, some cilantro, some onions, some shallots, vinegar, and then I add a little twist of collard greens on there. Well, that's what I love because it's just a little different than your typical mm -hmm. chimichurri, yeah. right, with the collard greens. And again, kind of going back to, you know, black history, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we currently have it on the menu right now with the New York Strip, but, you know, this is our way of testing some, some uh, ingredients. And when we talk about, you know, that mentorship is being able to do things that's important to us um, to give back to the community, to give back to chefs, and then to curate and execute menus. And also have a pretty spectacular space. I've been talking to you guys. I don't know if we showed the, the images. The space itself is beautiful. I know you've got live, or you've got music there, right, DJ? Yeah. Yes. So we do, we do DJs. We do have live music. Like, we just coming off an event this Monday called Brown Derby Jazz. So we have uh, the jazz come in. We create a menu off of that. Uh, and two weeks from now, we do a wine collective where our wine members get an exclusive bite of some delicious wines and some Ooh. menus that we create together. Okay. So absolutely. Yeah, here we go. We're looking at some of the other dishes. Yeah, so that's our delicious uh, beet salad. So that's a cold beet salad that we cold smoke. It's got some vegan feta. We got a lot of people that are vegan in there. Some sure. mandarin oranges, some toasted nuts on there. And then I take the red beets and reduce it and add a beet reduction that goes right on top. All right, and it's not just wine. We did see kind of a fun cocktail in the mix. Here's the space. I love it. It's just, it's really cool looking. Yeah, you know, the other great thing, too, you know, uh, Bronzeville talks about jazz. We do jazz, live, live jazz band on Sunday after brunch. We do brunch on Sunday morning also. Mm -hmm. um, the space is set up to do just about anything. We do a lot of corporate events. We do a lot of private parties. We did a dinner on Tuesday for 80 people. We did a three-course plate up. Wow. So that also goes back into the mentorship to be able to take you know, our service staff to do a plate up family style, then to do small apps. And the same thing for us, being able to learn off each other, right. to teach our staffs how to plate up correctly. You know, those are things that you see a lot, you know, not disrespecting the you know, River Norths and the Lincoln Parks, but, you know, for our communities and for our chefs and our teams, I get excited about doing those things with our teams because that's something that I never had to do or I never had an opportunity to do in the past when we do it at Brownfield Winery. Yeah, challenge, no doubt. Yeah. So I want to talk about the technique you're using here because, you know, obviously you're searing the meat, but you, you kind of, you know, drench it in the butter without letting it sit in all that butter, it seems like. So that's like. A, a, a classic basing uh, technique, which, you know, throw the butter in the pan and what you get is all the herbs, rosemary, garlic, thyme that we put in there. And we base it so all the flavors can lock in to the seared steak. And then you usually let it rest for like one or two minutes. And then, hey, dig in. All right, it's resting before <laughs> we feast. 
Yeah, so All obviously right. the magic of TV, you have one plated. Yeah, but. here it is. It looks delicious. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations on your success. Bronzeville Winery, if you want to visit them, they're at 4420 South Cottage Grove Avenue. You can check out bronzevillewinery.com for details, or you can follow them on social media. We're going to post the recipe that we made. Just such an interesting little twist on the chimichurri. Everything delicious. Uh, WGNTV.com slash midday.